Okay, so uh, until yesterday, what we have done, we just have done the uh, configuration for the cash and liquidity management. So before getting to start the EBS configuration, we need to understand there are few advantages uh, uh, to the business. Then what are the advantages if you are going to integrate intraday bank statements? So first, let us understand there are four or uh, three or four advantages are there. Let me explain one by one advantages intraday intraday bank statement integration so what are the advantages if business is going to gain okay so this is the uh, we need to know and also remember this is also one of the uh, important point for interview prospective please be remember okay but anyhow if you want i will provide you the material then the first one is that the first advantage is that what we what i would say is the cash visibility So the cash visibility, the option, what uh, the cash and liquidity management, it is going to provide the additional function when we are going to integrate the intraday bank statements, then additional, uh, I mean, cash visibility. Cash visibility is nothing but, okay, wh what is the cash inflow? What is the cash outflow? Though for every business organization, the cash manager, he is going to take the decision. If we have the excess funds, then how to utilize those excess funds? If we have the deficient funds in, a, in any bank account, then they need to feed the feed the funds into the bank account. So that way, the cash visibility will give the will give the clear information to the cash cash management team or cash manager will take the decision. That the second one is that the second advantage. Managing cash. So the managing cash nowadays for for every business organization, there is a biggest challenge. OK, so now if we do not have the proper uh, management of the cash, OK, what will happen? Then there might be a chances. OK, there is a one uh, there is a now let us uh, zoom. We are doing the payment to the vendors, uh, 10 million rupees. OK, so unfortunately we did not have the funds. Then there there were some deficient funds. What will happen then the bank will not process the payments so that if the if we will not do the payment on time there could be a chances the vendor might be charged the interest okay to avoid such kind of situations the cash management team will manage the will manage the ca uh, cash properly and also so in case if they find any excess funds okay where they want to invest the funds okay so the uh, the cash and uh, the cash management will uh, we'll do the analysis or we'll do the forecast based on the intraday bank statements integration. So the managing cash, as I said, there are two points. One is the if they have excess funds where they can invest and how to how to uh, in uh, how to take decisions okay with help of the treasury team. Then the second thing is that in case if there are any deficient funds, they need to feed the funds. But fund feeds and uh, fund feeds and all, we have a separate concept in uh, cash and liquidity management. That is a cash concentration. Okay, that is out of the box. That uh, we are not. That I am not going to cover. Cash concentration is a separate concept. Then, <coughs> then one more thing. The uh, I mean, if we talk about reduction of the risk, okay, okay what will happen by implementing the pro by implementing the cash and liquidity management? I'll put it here. <coughs> Less risk. Less risk are the reduction of the risk, I would say. Okay, so by implementation of the process, what will happen then? <coughs> Every day we will come to know the bank balances. OK, in case in case there could be a less chances to the rejection of the payments because what will happen by using the cash uh, concentration functionality. OK, the the uh, the idea of the cash concentration is that but that also need to be uh, run by manually also manual activity is there for cash concentration. Now I will give the overview of the what is mean by the cash concentration. I just I'm just giving the idea. Let us assume I have a hundred bank accounts. So out of 100 bank accounts, 
nowadays you can think about all bank accounts no need to maintain sufficient balances so but nowadays you can think about you can imagine some banks may ask you need to maintain minimum balance 1000 rupees or 5000 rupees depends on the bank some bank accounts might offer it's a zero balance clearing account okay so for multiple bank accounts every day i am doing i am performing the transactions like outgoing and incoming transactions in such cases the management want to know what is the current balance which is having all my bank accounts then i mean we need to check all we need to group together all the bank accounts then we need to see that one but now wherever we noticed if there are any gl uh, if there are any zero balance accounts those ba those bank accounts i mean those banks may not give interest even i have excess funds also in such situation what will happen by end of today i will create one header account under header account i will create sub account okay remember one more thing the, the header account may become sub account also for some other bank accounts let us assume i have the cash con concentration i'm just explaining cash concentration important thing cash concentration then let us assume i have a one bank account bank one is my header account let us assume header so under this bank account let us assume the management want to see all the balances i mean uh, the balance into one account in such situation what we can do we can uh, we can create like this the cash concentration the concept how it is going to work then what i will do for this main bank account i will i will map like this then just giving the idea just for your understanding if you then what will happen by end of the day i will have the bank to bank 2 is my sub account then here bank 3 bank 4 bank 5 okay so what i'm doing what business will do by end of the day the bank will transfer balance from bank 2 to bank 1 all the banks will be transferred from here to here all the balance so that if there are if there is any let us assume if all the bank accounts or the zero balance accounts so what will happen all the these accounts the uh, i mean the business will become i mean will make zero then all the balance will be stored into the one account so that the management will have the clear visibility clear visibility of that one okay how much cash at this moment we we have okay so might be if if this is the if this is the uh, header header right uh, header bank account in, in some cases this may also become the sub account okay this we could say header account this i could say sub bank accounts sub sorry sub sub bank accounts also okay the vice versa also there could be a chances vice versa this is the concept of the cash concentration by end of the day even in, the, in between the transfers also there is a separate process is there we have to work uh, we have to do the config, uh, separate configuration then and also even internal transfer also the, the bank will generate separate files the bank will uh, i mean uh, the file will be sent to the bank okay so even one one requirement what i have worked in between just for your information now once the cash concentration will be done as i said the files will be moving in between the banks i mean the files let us assume if i am transferring from here to sub account uh, bank two to bank one number bank one then the file will be generated the file will be sent to the bank okay for the uh, transaction okay we are performing the transaction within sap but that has to be done into the outside of the sap okay that is the one aspect for that one the bank will generate a separate file it will send to the bank then second thing is that uh, what we have worked separately now when we are sending the when we are sending balance when we are transferring balance from sub account to main bank account okay then what will happen the management wanted to know okay i mean from the main bank account i mean in between in between also the management want to generate the separate file 
before transferring the balances okay the management want to know the management want to know what is what is my current balance of sub accounts okay with help of this sub account balance also the management need to take a decision whether we do i mean they every day they used to have a some uh, limit i think based on the forecast uh, analysis okay what is the outflow what is the inflow if the excess funds they will identify in this uh, sub accounts then in between that that sub account uh, inform i mean the sub uh, bank balances i mean uh, the funds uh, whatever the beyond the limit okay then it has to intimate to the some other system the file will be separate file will be generated and it goes to the some other i mean some other investment system the investment team will take the decision this is a within sap but uh, out of the sap i am talking about okay there was some requirement even we have fulfilled the client requirement there are different ways are there okay this is a one real time example okay if you understood right okay now let us assume 10 lakhs rupees is my outflow okay so the uh, inflow should be a let us assume uh, it's a outflow you can talk about the outflow 10 12 lakhs is my inflow 12 lakh is my inflow inflow okay so beyond this limit 2 lakhs we are identifying here okay how we can identify based on the forecast analysis we can identify then the 2 lakhs the excess funds so today is the only this is that this much uh, i mean uh, 10 lakh 12 lakhs minus 12 lakhs is in 10 lakhs is out 2 lakhs will be excess funds for the 2 lakhs limit what we are doing sap in between there is an investment system the investment system before reaching the uh, the information to the investment investment system then the system has to check okay what is there will we have customized the program the customized program will be uh, based on the i mean it will work based on the business requirement the business people will key the amount okay what is the today's limit then from sap system first say the program will check all the banks related amount i mean what are uh, what is the current balance that is current inflow current outflow in case if it will be identified the excess amount then it will intimate to the uh, investment system then the investment people immediately they will take a decision whether we do the investments or uh, whatever uh, the uh, plannings they are having then they will do the investments just to take a note this one okay for your information purpose in case if somebody will ask you in interview you you can just inform them then that is the one uh, one thing that second thing is that second one okay if you want to uh, for real